Today's video we're going to talk about how to change the sky in twin motion. My name is Katerina, I'm a garden designer and I'll see you next. Welcome to another Garden Design Tools video, this video dedicated to twin motion. So I'm going to show you how to change the sky inside twin motion. For your, especially for your rendering still images, okay? This is not so good technique for animation, and I'll explain you why. So basically, this is the option now, right now, in Twin Motion in terms of skies. This is one of the things I really would hope that in Twin Motion 2020 they will change that. So basically, you have this kind of, uh, of clouds, okay? And there is no, um, not a lot of options to change this. Um, if you want a, a sunny day with, with a bit of clouds, that's the, that's what you've got, okay? You can't rotate, you can't change them, um, it starts raining when you, when you go a bit too cloudy, okay? So, but that's it. So basically, if you, if you search for it in Google, what it comes up is, is a, um, a Twin Motion blog uh, post, and it just basically explains you how you can change uh, using uh, the dome uh, examples created by this guy, uh, Jesus Carvajal. I believe that's how he, the, he pronounces. So that he basically created uh, three domes with uh, some images that basically um, cover your model, okay? Uh, we're gonna apply these terms. I'm gonna put a link to this uh, post in my in the, the video description, okay? Uh, but basically, that's what we're gonna do now. Um, I already uploaded that uh, domes to my library, to my user library inside Twinmotion, okay? So it's basically an object, okay? Um, that will surround your model, okay, from all sides, okay? So we just go to user library, and I have three of them. Uh, for now, it's not really important um, the, the, the images. They all have different kind of uh, background with trees. One is in a beach, I believe, uh, and they all have different skies, okay? So I'm going to use, I'm not going to use his image. I'm going to use, uh, and you can rotate inside twin motion, okay? And you can scale it down or go down or up, okay? Um, and you can scale it if you want it. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my own sky. So I basically use this as a canva to, to apply now my own sky, okay? You can get high quality skies in uh, websites like HDRI even. Um, it's pretty cool, um, and you can donate if you if you feel like you should. Um, but basically, you have quite a lot of skies here that you can choose. Once I've chosen my sky, I dow I download them in uh, in you have uh, a few resolutions. I've downloaded in 8K. You can do 4K as well, um, because the way we're gonna change it is gonna is gonna downgrade a little bit the image okay because basically we have to transform this is in a png image in photoshop before you apply in twin motion okay so that's what i'm gonna do i have my sky here okay and uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna um, sorry this is the, the original that's the one already done png okay as you can see here uh, but the original is HDR. What you can do is you can you can export it and just as export as a PNG, okay? And just export wherever you want. Export all and wherever you want in your in your uh, PC, okay? And that's it. So that's what we're gonna apply. We have this one here already done. I'm just gonna make sure that I know where he, where she is. I'm gonna put in the desktop just to be easy okay and we're gonna apply now this image in our in our dome okay inside twin motion so in here when you have this this little material picker it picks up materials from your um, twin motion model you can see here the material applied okay but if you go here you can apply a new material, okay? Just press the plus and it appears something like this, all white, okay? If you press white, and uh, the new material, I mean, and you press more, in texture, you can uh, upload here your image, your sky image, okay? You wait a little bit and that's it, okay? You see it there, okay? So now, 
you see what I've done? So you just pick up the material and add it to the dome, okay? So now, and it works pretty well for, uh, spe especially for um, um, still images, okay? Not for animations because these clouds don't move, okay? So have that in consideration. And in here, because my dome is selected, I can rotate, okay? So that's pretty cool as well, okay? I can go a bit down if I want or up okay just be careful with it um so and uh, i can change the scale okay if i start going uh, uh, if i want to just make it smaller for some reason don't forget to don't get things distorted okay just have that be careful with that because you start seeing the ground like you saw there in here if you go in scale and in here you can even move again rotation from one side or the other okay or, or you can go up or down okay uh, you can always click here and just so to don't get it too lost okay and rotation but rotate is not like in x it's going to rotate um, all over the place okay like you saw there uh, so that's pretty cool um, i can put it moving and this will might be a solution but this is way too fast this might be a solution for animations okay maybe changing here the speed in x but still is a bit dodgy okay so having uh, be careful I, I i like this technique but for still images only okay and after of course if you change position okay um in this case i'm not too worried about the background here the the vegetation and stuff but if you change position you might want to change the sky a little bit as well or um just move it a little bit down okay so maybe you don't see this uh, landscape here okay but this you can all do here in scale in the new material so the domes are basically an amazing canvas so you can apply this uh, real uh, um, high resolution skies to your to your twin motion model another thing to be careful is for example the 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 brighter the side of this uh, of this specific um, sky is in here so you need to be careful where you have your sun and your shadows coming and the the brightness part of the where is this the sun is in that photo of that sky okay so have be careful with that because you don't so you don't have two suns okay when i you know what i mean so you don't have uh, and you can change a bit if you want more bright or less bright the sky okay uh, i normally don't move that from 50 um, but you can change that um, in more settings you have bump glow again glow you have a, a bit of um, um, s light to it as well okay and uh, two-sided off or on it just uh, is just the shadows okay I, I leave it off okay I prefer to leave it off just make sure it's a bit more more um, tricky making sure the shadows are properly placed with the position of the sun of the sun in the model plus the sun in the, in the, in the image okay uh, but once you have that uh, and you're happy with it um, I think it's pretty cool um, it's a, a good way to just have a bit of um, of uh, a different cloud in your in your renderings inside twin motion okay another thing you could do is uh, just apply a green color for example like a green screen color and uh, change the sky in photoshop that's an option as well okay so i've done some of some before <coughs> this is a, a bit too white but this is the original uh twin motion sky okay and this is with a different sky. This is with a different sky. It's just a bit more realistic. So I'm just going to put uh, side by side. Okay. The twin motion sky sometimes is too blue. It's like um, cartoon blue. Okay. So I prefer this. Of course, this, uh, this photo is a bit was washed out. Okay. This, uh, this image here. But the, you can see the sky. It's a big difference. I think it improves a lot. Okay. Um, 
so that's my tip of today and that's the video of today uh, i'm just going to show you a last one it's just it's just it's a much more soft um I, I, I will like this technique a lot for twin motion, for the free version in twin motion. Hopefully, they will change that in twin motion 2020. Um, just another thing before we go uh, all courses, and it's just 21 days left, all courses are 50% off, okay? And we have uh, the new one in twin motion. So you have. Um, you can learn all the basics for garden designs and landscape architects introduction to twin motion coming from SketchUp. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.